guys, my name is Brave Tomato, and welcome to my next installment of Revisiting the Islands. This time, I'm going to be covering Big Nate Island, which is the eighth island in Pop Tropica, and the first, what people classify as the real first real sound updated island. So, let's just restart this island and head on our way, shall we? Now, a little note that I have to make, I haven't played this island in a while, so I might not remember everything. So we run across Nate, who says that we're on some kind of search or whatnot. And he there and everyone in town is actually look, looking for like a time capsule. So um So he'll introduce himself and there's not really much more to it. Um let's now he's gonna start follow he is he following nope. Is he following us? Um, nope, he isn't yet. Okay, um, and around around the island, you're going to have to cut put together like this comic. So, um, you I been going into like the classic comic shop, and um, let's see, you'll talk to this random guy, and he he wants to see like this picture at comic, and and he. We'll give a reward and stuff if you I can complete it. Cool. So here you'll see like a list of all the characters. We have Mrs. Godfrey, Arthur. Okay, Mrs. Godfrey, the um the really strict English teacher. Arthur, which is like a really good kid, but Nate hates him. Gina, who is like like an overachiever and a teacher's pet. Mr. Rosa, who I believe is an art teacher. Um, Spitzy, which is like like a dog, I know it's the dog and stuff. Francis, the um, Nate's smart friend. Teddy, like um, Nate's other friend, who's like, f um, who's like um, who cracks himself up a lot. Um, there's Dad, um, random guy, and Jenny. And there's Jenny, who's um, Nate's crush. So let's head on our way out. I I actually I actually read like a few of the big Nate books. So that's how I knew know like who these people are. Although I did forget their names as at one point or another. So hmm. Let's see if I we can start finding those um comic pieces. Comic panels, um pieces. Something rather. I know one of them's on this telephone line. Maybe. Um, there it is. And we're going to have to um, put together the um, the puzzle ourselves. So let's head on in and see if we can. There's anything in the poppin shop. Let's see. Which is apparently um, Nate's dad's store. So. First, let's find a round, look around and see. I'm, um, hmm. I think we can talk to him. So, so, the, so, Nate's school is, like, facing, like, closure and, um, and the way that they, it could be, possibly be saved is if they find a time capsule. However, Nate would rather use the treasure uh, for his own personal gains because, well, it seems like every like um, illustrated no novel for kids has like um, a kid like that. <laughs> so, um, let's we found ourselves another um, comic page, and let's head on our way, shall we? Hmm. Hmm, let's see. Is there anything else in here? I feel like there should be something else in here, but... Well, I did try to get the bubble gum, but didn't come to any avail. The, um, I think this is the only island where the um, licensed building uh, is actually useful for us. A little fun fact. So, yeah. 
Now there's a school picture guy. So he's looking for a rare painting or a picture or whatever. So that he could tra like trade in for the scuba dude gear. And there's another comic piece right here that we could grab. There we go. Now, let's head on our way to the right. And we'll head over to school. Hey! The Amazing Fighting Cats. Any reused Ringmaster Ravens this time. And here's, G here's Gina, who I, like I said, is the overachiever. And teacher's pet. Here's I have a confession to make. When I was a kid, um, I was, I'm in elementary school more really, so I was like Gina. Um, although some traits of her have left, have, are still remain in me. Um, I admit I'm kind of a teacher's pet. I'm, I get good grades in school. I'm in honors classes. Well, exactly. More like in an, a one honors class, and last year I even took an AP class. But when I was when I was elementary school, I was a lot more like Gina. Um, Gina is a more of so of a tattletale, and I admit I was a tattletale in elementary school. Yes, I was that. I was that kid. <laughs> oh well. Well, the past is the past, and here we are now. And oops, I forgot seagull. And what the heck is up with this clock? <laughs> now let's head on over into the school that's facing closure. Now keep in mind of the no gum chewing sign. So um, there's there's Jenny, who's Na who's Nate's crush. And there's nothing over here. There's, but there is another um, comic over here. And let's head on to the science lab next. And we'll make ourselves a stink bomb. And here's Francis, which is the smart friend. Um, I forgot, and we're going to make a stink bomb. Which is going to be useful for us later. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. I got it. I got the stink bomb. Now, there's another comic page right up here. I don't know how many com more comic pages I need, so I'll assemble what I have right now. Um, let's see. Okay, this is the first one. And... Art room. Right here. Here. But oh, it also tells the um, tells you the um, locker his Nate's locker combination, which is nine three zero five. So let's go over to Nate's locker. Oh wait, I have to assemble the whole thing before I could go there. Okay, good to know. Now let's head on up up here and back outside. First we're gonna check out the playground. Hmm. Oh, I I need to show you show you this before I move on. The the sign called the Amazing Fighting Cats, which is probably some advertisement for something or other. Yeah, it is some advertisement. And it's some um, Yeah. Now here's the kids only area. 
and Nate will give Nate will give me like gifts if I could um beat him in games. Now there's these. So it's this is Hangman. So I'll start off with vowels E I O and U. Uh, let's see S no. Hmm. P P U P U I P U I have one. Okay, I failed. Now let's see if I can get this one. A E I O U S Recess. That was an easy one. So he'll give me a tasty prize, which is peanut butter crackers. Now he'll give me. He got something really cool if I can beat him at table football. Missed. Uh, it's been a while, so... Yeah, I made that one. Hmm. Ah. Let's see. Might be able to make that one. No good. Okay, so... Hmm. Like I said, it's been a while. <laughs> it's good! Now, next up. I find it strange how the heck this works. Oh wow, I think I barely made that one. And this one's easy. I got all five! <laughs> so he's gonna give me a prize, which is. like this thing. Which is. Um, he talks about, like, here's the locker, of course, and Pump Frog and Gina's desk. I think this is supposed to be the stink, about, talking about the stink, revealing the stink bomb, so, and how to, like, distract, um, Mrs. Godfrey later, so, I'm going to end the episode here for now, and stay tuned for the next episode of Visiting the Islands. Big Nate Edition. BTF.